Welcome back. I was just working on the cover of my book and today we are going to work on the first section which is all about John Locke, his ideas about why we need government. So I'll go back and finish that later. So if you remember the first couple of pages we marked off for John Locke. And I went ahead in here and started filling in the information. Um, here's what it um, will look sort of like by the time you're done. Something like that. So I started off just by writing John Locke and I talked about what he wrote. And if you have your summary here, the first section is all about him. And so what he wrote about was natural rights the state of nature, and the purpose of government. So it's almost like an introduction to a paragraph here. John Locke wrote about natural rights, the state of nature, and the purpose of government. So go ahead and write a sentence like that. And you can pause the video if you need to. John Locke wrote about natural rights, the state of nature, and the purpose of government. Okay, and then the next thing I want my readers to know is that this was an influence on the founders, right? So I wrote one sentence and says, the founders read his book and took inspiration from it. So you need one sentence that says something like that. The founders were inspired by the work of John Locke, the founders researched John Locke's work to get ideas. The founders used ideas from John Locke's book about government. Some sentence that's something like that. Okay, now I have John Locke wrote a book about natural rights, the state of nature, and the purpose of government. The founders read his book and took inspiration from it. Now I'm going to say what he said about each of those things I mentioned in the beginning. Natural rights, the state of nature, and the purpose of government. So what did he say natural rights were? Do you remember? Life, liberty, and property. And then I gave a really short definition of each of those things. You can see here. Right? Life, the right to live safely. Liberty, the right to say, believe, and live freely. And then property, the right to own things. So you can make that little key to natural rights there. And remember, you can always go back to your summary if you need to look for spelling or just be sure you have the idea written right. It's all in this first section here. Okay. All right. Then on the second page, I described what he said about state of nature. Do you remember what he said? He said a state of nature is when there are no laws or rules or government and people just live freely. And he said it wouldn't work. People, some people would be doing the right thing, but others would try to take the rights of other people away or they would um, violate them in some way. For example, we have the right to safety, but somebody might be violent and punch you in the nose if there wasn't a law against assault. Or you have the right to um, property, but what if somebody steals your car and that person has violated that right? So we wanna say something about that. I wrote in his book, John Locke said to imagine a state of nature. By this he meant a world with no laws or government. So that's two sentences. One, he wrote a book about state of nature. Two, state of nature means uh, a world without laws or government. He said that people's rights wouldn't be safe. There would be chaos and some people might harm others. Okay? So you want to write that. I actually just found a little typo that I'm going to have to go back and fix later. I wrote, there would be chaos and some people harm others. <laughs> I have to fix that. Good thing I wrote in pencil. 
Okay? So basically three sentences there. In his book, John Locke said to imagine a state of nature. By this he meant a world with no laws or government. He said that people's rights wouldn't be safe. There would be chaos and some people might, I need, harm others. And then finally, the last thing we're gonna put in this section is the main purpose of government. According to John Locke and the founding fathers believed it, the main purpose of government is what? It's to make laws that protect our natural rights. And that's the main idea about John Locke. So again, I wrote, the main purpose of government is to make laws that protect our natural rights. So it's make laws that make sure that we can have life, liberty, and property. Okay, so there is your section about John Locke. I'm gonna go back in and fix my mistake in here. And then, I don't know, I may, might make some titles bold. I might make some cool bullet points by life, liberty, and property. I'm gonna go back and finish outlining my title and maybe do some kind of decoration here, maybe an early colonial flag or something like that. All right. So we'll see you next time in our next section. Let's see, I'm going to peek a little bit. We are going to compare and contrast Athens and the Roman Republic. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.